Oh my goodness, what is that? What are those? What is this? I'd rather not find any of those in my bedroom, or I'll break every glass in the house with my screams. Welcome to our art exploration series, where we delve into the depths of artistic masterpieces that have shaped the course of history. Today we embark on a journey into the enigmatic and unsettling world of the Nightmare by Henry Fuseli, a painting that captures the essence of romanticism like no other. As the curtain rises, we find ourselves in the midst of a dark and shadowy room. In the center stands a solitary frame, housing an artwork that defies convention. Behold, The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli, a masterful display of emotion, fear, and desire. The Nightmare is a famous painting created by the Swiss-born British artist Henry Fuseli in 1781. Born as Johann Heinrich Fuseli in Zurich, Switzerland, in 1741, he later anglicized his name to Henry Fuseli when he moved to England. His Swiss-German background and upbringing in a Protestant family influenced his artistic style and his exploration of themes related to the supernatural and the emotional. The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli is a complex and enigmatic painting that has captivated audiences for centuries. It is a masterpiece of Romanticism, a movement that emphasized emotion, imagination, and the mysterious aspects of human existence. The painting's composition, symbolism, and themes come together to create a rich tapestry of meaning. Fuseli's composition draws us in, compelling our gaze toward the center of the canvas. A woman lies on a bed, seemingly trapped between the realms of wakefulness and dreams. Her pale skin contrasts starkly with the darkness of the room. Her pose suggests a state of sleep, but her expression is one of distress, hinting at a troubled dream or inner turmoil. This duality between sleep and distress sets the tone for the entire composition. The play of light and shadow accentuates her vulnerability, while the twisted pose of her body exudes tension and unease. The composition and imagery of the painting evoke a sense of psychological tension, mystery, and the supernatural. But what is this? A nightmarish intruder, a demonic figure perched upon her chest. An incubus, perhaps. What's an incubus, you ask? An incubus is a demon in male form in folklore that seems to have sexual intercourse with sleeping women. Practically, they're perverted demons, in other words. Its presence is menacing, evoking a sense of fear and vulnerability. The creature's placement on her chest and its intent gaze create a tension between the seductive and the terrifying, suggesting a merging of desire and danger. It embodies her innermost fears and desires, blurring the lines between reality and the surreal. Its presence embodies the very essence of the romantic fascination with the macabre and the unexplainable. As our gaze shifts beyond the bed, we glimpse a ghostly steed lurking in the shadows. Its fiery eyes pierce through the darkness, symbolizing the unbridled forces of the unconscious mind. Its presence adds an air of the supernatural and the unknown. The contrast between the horse's spectral appearance and the woman's corporeal form adds to the surreal and dreamlike quality of the scene. A spectral embodiment of the unknown, it adds another layer of complexity to the painting's narrative. The nightmare resonates with a myriad of interpretations. It is said to explore themes of sexuality, anxiety, and the subconscious. It's thought to reflect the romantic fascination with the irrational, emotional, and mysterious aspects of human experience. The painting's dramatic and unsettling imagery made it a subject of both fascination and controversy when it was first exhibited. Some see it as an exploration of female sexuality and the constraints placed upon it during the 18th century. The nightmare has often been interpreted as a depiction of female sexual desire and its societal repression. The woman's vulnerability and the incubus's intrusion can be seen as a representation of the anxieties surrounding women's sexual autonomy during the 18th century. The juxtaposition of the incubus with the woman's reclining form introduces an element of dark eroticism. The incubus' suggestive pose and the intimate proximity between the two figures hint at a mix of desire and danger, challenging societal norms and expectations. Fuseli blurs the lines between dream and reality, creating an unsettling atmosphere that challenges our perception of what is real. The woman's state of distress blurs the boundaries between her waking life and her dream world, emphasizing the unpredictable nature of the subconscious mind. The painting's subversion of traditional gender roles and its exploration of female sexuality would have also been particularly disturbing to 18th century audiences. The woman's passivity and vulnerability contrasted the assertive and dominant presence of the incubus. 
Others view it as an allegory of the inner battles we face within our minds, where desires and fears intertwine. This is because the nightmare can be seen as a visual representation of psychological states. The woman's pose and expression suggest a struggle between her conscious and unconscious thoughts. The incubus and the horse may symbolize her inner fears and desires, representing the complexities of the human psyche. The inclusion of the demonic figure and the ghostly horse also taps into the romantic fascination with the supernatural and the sublime, that which is awe-inspiring and terrifying. These elements evoke a sense of the unknown and the uncontrollable forces that exist beyond the realm of reason. Fuseli's The Nightmare had a profound impact on art, literature, and culture. Its combination of psychological depth, supernatural elements, and the emotional intensity resonated with the romantic sensibilities of the time. During the 18th century, when Fuseli created The Nightmare, societal norms and artistic standards often dictated that art should adhere to more traditional and idealized depictions. Fuseli's painting, with its unsettling imagery and exploration of the unconscious mind, deviated from these norms and shocked audiences with its audacious approach. The portrayal of a vulnerable woman in a state of distress, with a demonic figure perched on her chest, was a departure from the conventional depictions of beauty and grace that were popular at the time. The painting's ambiguous narrative blending elements of horror and eroticism created a sense of unease and fascination among viewers. Fuseli's art often explored dark and fantastical themes, which sometimes led to controversy and mixed reviews. Some of his works are criticized for their unconventional subject matter and emotional intensity, but they also garnered attention and fascination from audiences, including the nightmare. Thus, it inspired other artists, writers, and thinkers to explore the darker and more mysterious aspects of human experience. It contributed to the romantic fascination with the irrational and the emotional, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of art. An example of this impact on later artists and writers would include the likes of Mary Shelley, Edgar Allan Poe, and Francisco Goya. It continues to captivate and intrigue audiences with its eerie and dreamlike atmosphere. It continues to be dissected, debated, and revered for its ability to evoke powerful emotions and prompt introspection. In conclusion, The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli is a masterpiece that encapsulates the core themes of romanticism, including the exploration of human emotion, the interplay between dreams and reality, and the fascination with the mysterious and the supernatural. Its intricate composition and rich symbolism invite viewers to delve into the depths of the human psyche where desires and fears collide in a haunting tableau of visual storytelling.